I'm Erin Wilson, and you are listening to Inside NC Labor, a podcast designed to inform and educate North Carolina citizens on the role that the Department of Labor plays in state government. Good afternoon, this is Erin Wilson. I'm a public information officer at the North Carolina Department of Labor, and we're here at the Denton Farm Park in Denton, North Carolina at the Southeast Old Threshers Reunion. And I'm here with Karen Miller, who is one of the family owners. Karen, it's nice to have you with us today. Thank you for being here. Thank you. So Karen, will you introduce yourself to our viewers? Yes, my name is Karen Miller, and I'm general manager here at the Farm Park. So Karen, I understand Denton Farm Park is family owned. How did your family get involved? The land that the park is on was originally an airstrip for my dad's airplane. And he had an idea to raise money for the local rescue squad with an event called a fly-in. He had other f- friends with airplanes, and they gave airplane rides to the community and raised money for the local rescue squad. Oh, wow, that's really neat. It's a neat way to start out a business. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, Karen, what makes a place like Denton Farm Park so special? I think it's the families that attend. Uh, We have generations of families that come year after year to expose their children to the farming way of life. And I think it just really makes it special to have that bond with your family and the farming. Uh, Everyone here loves tractors and engines and uh, it's just a special place. So it's very family oriented and takes you back to your roots. It sure does. Growing up in Davidson County myself, I've heard of the Southeast Old Threshers Reunion and have attended in the past. Can you tell our viewers about the event? Well, this is the largest steam, gas, and antique farm machinery show in the southeastern United States. Last year, we had over 1,500 tractors that were registered for exhibit. Several hundred gasoline engines on on display. We have restored buildings such as a church, a general store, a grist mill. We bring farming to life that goes back 100 years ago from horsepower, steam power, gas power. We have lots of vendors here from flea market, antiques to crafts. And one of the specialties of the event is the homemade Poppin' John's ice cream. Yeah, we can hear it popping in the background for our viewers who are listening. It's really neat. It's a way for people to see history and kind of have be a, immersed in the experience. That's correct. So, what is your favorite part of the Old Dressers reunion? Probably the Handy Dandy Railroad. Kids love trains and they get so excited when they see the train blowing its whistle and coming up the track. And one great experience with the train is the Cowboys show. So kids get a kick out of that. Well, we love to see smiles on kids' faces. That's right. So any final thoughts you would like to share with our listeners about the Southeast Old Threshers Reunion? Well, like we said, it's a family-oriented event. Uh, We have lots of music here from bluegrass, country, gospel. Uh, It's just a great event to bring your kids out. Just a great experience for the whole family. Well, that's great. Thank you so much for joining us today, Karen. Thank you. And I am here on site at the Southeast Old Threshers Reunion at Denton Farm Park in Denton, North Carolina with Greg Davis, who's part of the Butler Safety Bureau. Good afternoon, Greg. How are you doing today? Doing great. Good afternoon, Erin. So, Greg, can you introduce yourself to our viewers and tell us a little bit about what you do? Sure. My name is Greg Davis. I work with the uh, North Carolina Department of Labor Boiler Safety Bureau. I've been with the Bureau for 24 years. I'm from uh, Maggie Valley, which is in Haywood County originally, and I'm supervisor for the western part of the state. Wow, that's great. So you're part of North Carolina Department of Labor's Boiler Safety Bureau. What role does a boiler inspector have at the Southeast Old Threshers Reunion? Now, the North Carolina Boiler Inspector role in the inspection of all boilers and pressure vessels, including the historical boilers, like we see here at the Thresher Reunion, is to ensure that they are operating in a safe condition. Now, historical boilers, such as those being operated at the old Thresher's Reunion, require a special effort to ensure their safety. It's good that we have you guys here then. Well, we appreciate <laughs> it. So how many boilers and pressure vessels does the Boiler Safety Bureau inspect each year? Well, I know the Boiler Safety Bureau Jimmy has 41,000 boilers that they register each year and 85 historical boilers. 
Now, the Boiler Safety Bureau doesn't inspect all those 41,000. Uh, some insurance companies have a commissioned inspectors that perform part of the inspections for their insurance purposes. Okay. When do you start inspecting antique boilers and pressure vessels at the Southeast Old Threshers Reunion? And can you tell our viewers about the process? Sure. Uh, the boilers at Denton Farm Park, they receive a certificate annually for the operation of their boilers here at the Farm Park. Now, approximately one week to one month before the certificate expiration date, we contact the owner and we set up an inspection date. Now, we get our, our inspection procedure comes from the National Board Inspection Code Part 2. And our procedure pretty well reflects that and it's a four-stage inspection. Uh, the initial inspection, which is the first stage, we grid off in one foot squares every portion of the boiler. Then we do ultrasonic thickness tests to determine a max allowed working pressure. Then once that's complete, we do an internal inspection where we have all openings off of it. Uh, we run four scopes, flashlights and mirrors, and look at everything on the water side of that boiler. Then after that, we put water back in it, button it up, and we bring it up and do what we call a hydrostatic pressure test. We bring it up to 1.25 times the max allowed working pressure that we've given that boiler to ensure that we haven't missed any cracks or anything like that during our internal inspection. Once that's completed, we have the operators fire the boiler up, bring it up to pressure and actually introduce water into it and bring it up and lift the safety relieving device. And that's the initial inspection. Then the next year after that, we generally do an operating inspection again where they bring it up and operate it. And the, second, the next year we do a internal where they open it up, we look at the inside again. And the next year we do a hydrostatic pressure test. And then it rolls back around to a partial initial. What we do, we do QT readings on any thin places we may have found when we did the initial inspection. Well, that sounds like a very meticulous and tedious inspection, but very thorough. It is that. We try to be. So you and our other boiler inspectors look at many different types of boilers and pressure vessels. What makes antique boilers and steam engines, like the ones here at Denton Farm Park, so unique? And why is it important to inspect these machines annually? Well, antique boilers are very old and most of the time are manufactured by means other than welding such as riveting. Other reasons for the extensive inspection performed on these boilers are they are not operated continuously and most of these boilers have been constructed with no determination of a safe operating pressure and they're manufactured of unknown materials. And it's very important that these boilers receive an annual inspection to assure nothing has changed from the previous inspection. Gotcha. So are there other similar shows around the state that your inspectors visit? Yes, we have a, there's a big show in Carthage, North Carolina, and then there's one in Morganton, North Carolina, and then there's several little shows scattered out, you know, but this is one of the bigger ones right yeah. here. Okay, that's cool. So do you have any final five thoughts you would like to share with our listeners about the Southeast Old Threshers Reunion and the inspection process? Everything's gone smooth here during this visit. It generally, it generally takes two to three days to perform the inspections and they're very cooperative and I feel like it's a, it's a very needful thing to do because uh, without inspections, these boarders, if they was to ever fail and fail dramatically, then that could be a lot of people be hurt and even killed by it. Well, we thank you for what you do, and thank you for joining us today on this podcast. It's my pleasure. Thanks so much for tuning in, y'all, and remember, your safety is our priority.